Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a newly released Hardline trailer that shows us some new gameplay and confirms the October 21st release date. Now, if you've been following me on Twitter, you'll know that I was actually invited to an event to play Hardline. And although I can't talk about any details of the event, I can give you some general information. The first being that any doubts I had on a police themed battlefield game have been squashed by playing the game. It was a lot of fun. I can't really get into too much more detail than that. Uh, we're basically gonna have to wait until EA releases more information on the game. Now, the first little bit that I would like to freeze frame on from the trailer is this shot here. Just a great cinematic view of downtown LA. This really is the perfect setting for a cops vs. robber battlefield game. Uh, LA has one of the first SWAT teams. They're notorious for being extremely good. And it's also a very iconic city. And you're gonna see from the rest of the trailer that clearly there's gonna be a lot of firefights in the downtown urban areas of the city, perhaps even outside in the outskirts, the suburbs, the slums, that sort of thing. And as gathered from other leaked information, the vehicles in this game are much more focused around transporting rather than carrying heavy firepower. So we've got armored cars, we've got uh, police cruisers, we've got motorcycles, we've got trucks. And with the added ability of passengers to be able to engage their opponents with their normal weapons by just sticking their heads out the window, this makes transport vehicles much more formidable and much more interesting. And clearly there's going to be some getaway style gameplay, a guy hanging out the back of the car shooting an Uzi. We've got a, a Mac 10 confirmed for the game too. A lot of cool smaller PDW style weapons that seem like they would be much more commonplace for people in a gang, robbers, thugs, or even the SWAT team that wants to use smaller weapons that are geared more towards infiltrating a building. And as you can see here, the riot shield seems to be making a very big appearance in this game. And I'm very curious to see how this is gonna help protect against explosives because in close quarter maps in Battlefield 4, explosives are king. There's very little defense against them. Now it looks like the riot shield is gonna be a great counter. Counter. In this image, we have two thieves. The one in the back is carrying a MAC-10. It also looks like he's got a sack of money on his back. And the one in the foreground looks like he's carrying something that could be the HK-53, also known as the G-53 from Battlefield 3. And in this shot here, we see some thieves trying to make an elaborate getaway. One of them already has cash on his back. Looks like there's going to be some pretty extensive vertical gameplay on these LA high-rises. And unfortunately, the short trailer and the screenshots don't really have too much more information on Battlefield Hardline. I am really looking forward to further information on the 9th. I have a feeling we're probably going to see a more extensive trailer, maybe some gameplay at E3. So stay tuned guys, we're literally days away from getting a lot more information on this game and I will say, just to tease you, that uh, Battlefield Hardline has fixed some very interesting issues that have plagued Battlefield since pretty much its inception and I think everybody's going to be pretty happy with some of the solutions. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.